Okay, I'm outside of 1024 West Dorchester in Magnolia Preserve. We'll start on the exterior. Just kind of want to give you a view of the neighborhood. Really beautiful, stately homes. Nice, quiet neighborhood with mature trees. Driveway is partly pavered. The roof is new from 2021. Three car garage. Beautiful stone on the exterior. Magnolia tree. The agent is inside, so that's who you're gonna see sitting at the table. <laughs> Just pop these on. <laughs> Pardon? Because they're little ones on the floor. Oh so yes, little, little babies on the floor. <laughs> it's important. Okay, so right when you come in here, really tall ceilings, beautiful crown molding. And see into the formal dining. Nice big windows in here, recessed lighting. In the formal dining, you'll notice wainscoting. And tons of windows in here, so there's a lot of natural light. Plantation shutters. Okay, so kitchen here, it's a nice open concept living. So right over here is the primary bedroom, which we'll see in just a moment. So here on the island, there's tons of storage. The microwave is hidden down below, which is really nice. Give you another view of the sitting room, foyer, and formal dining. All along here, extra seating and storage underneath the countertop. Cabinets are all in really, really good shape. No scratches, anything like that. Stainless steel appliances, farmhouse sink, gas range. The seller is taking this refrigerator. Right over here, sort of a less formal off kitchen dining area for a smaller table, breakfast, things like that. Vaulted ceilings in the living room gas fireplace. There's even more seating on this peninsula too. The sellers have not hooked up the gas fireplace. However, there is the ability to do so. You have access to the lanai from right over there. And I just love these big windows right here. It lets in so much light. So, we do have um, five bedrooms total, so it is a four-way split um, layout. Slider closet doors. This is a really, really nice size room. Could definitely fit, I would say, a queen, maybe even a king. And then it is a Jack and Jill bathroom. White shaker, double sinks of course, water closet is completely separate, 
which is really nice. Tub shower combo. And then leading into this room here, I've got a queen size bed in here for reference. And then we kind of stand in the corner here just so that you can get a better feel for the space. Also, it's worth noting that these are birch wood floors. So they're really, really high end. They're super beautiful floors. And then just so that you can see, they're standard closets, but they're really, really tall. See that they have two shelves above the rod. <clears throat> These are two bedrooms, one full bathroom. This is where we came in. Entrance to the first bedroom that we saw. To my right here, got a large linen closet. And back at the formal dining and kitchen. the pantry here we'll go upstairs in just a moment so right over here we have another full bathroom cabinets all look really really good countertop is in great shape really beautiful countertop high ceilings in this bathroom a linen closet and then through here nice tub no cracked tiles everything is looking really really nice in here again the high ceilings are carried throughout recessed lights, and there's a pocket door through here. Okay, so through the fringe doors, this would actually be considered another bedroom. You'll notice the crown molding in here, beautiful fan and light fixture. They obviously have this set up as the playroom. It has a nice deep closet. It's actually a walk-in closet. You can see here in comparison to my foot how deep it is. And here's another view of the space. Under here, got some under the stair storage. You have to kind of lean down to get in there, but it's there. There's lots of storage in this house, which is really nice. Laundry room on the main level. There is a utility sink. Extra storage, a rod for drying clothes. Washer and dryer also do not convey. And then through here, you have your three car garage. They are also planning on taking that refrigerator. However, I think they would be negotiable. <laughs> HVAC and water heater over there. It's a really large water heater. So there's plenty of extra storage in here. Okay. And this is the place. 
playroom, full bathroom for guests. And then head upstairs. So after the first flight, it transitions to carpet. Okay, so on the landing here, you've got a bedroom, full bathroom, another bedroom, and a mechanical closet. So we'll start with the first room up here. This is more like a bonus kind of loft space. This would be great to put in some nice built-in cabinets. It's got a really large window, it lets in a ton of light. So this would be a really nice media room, playroom, game room, man cave, <laughs> office, anything you really need it to be. Through here, you've got some extra storage. Full bathroom. Floor tile looks great, cabinets look good. Similar tile in the shower. This one is a little bit lighter. That tub is really clean and nice, no cracked tiles. Medicine cabinet. Through here is this mechanical closet. Got some room for extra storage as well. You'll see that the vaulted ceilings are carried into this room. Do have a queen size bed in here. It's a really, really nice size room. This could easily accommodate a king. The carpet all looks really good too. There's no pulled areas, um, no stains, you know, anything like that. If you did wanna keep it, I personally would feel good about it. Okay, let me navigate this baby gate. Okay, so we saved the best part for last. I'm going to check out the primary bedroom and then we'll head outside. gate here. Okay. Ooh. This is the pantry that we saw when we first came down this hallway. As you come out, just give you another view of what you see. really really beautiful primary bedroom for reference this is a king size bed so you can see just how large the space is they comfortably have two nightstands they each have a dresser and they have a sitting area in this bay window here with access to the lanai Tray ceiling. Okay, so right when you come into the ensuite, his and hers closets on the left and right side. And these are sliding doors. And then it does transition into the 16 by 16 tile. This 
So right over here, his and her sinks. We've got the open shelving here, an area for vanity to get ready. The water closet is separate. The added privacy, nice fogged window. Garden tub, carry the plantation shutters in here. Then you have the walk-in shower. It is a little bit tight in here, if I'm being honest. But it is definitely still a really nice space and super nice to have the tub or shower option. Interesting architecture in here too. And then this is his sink. Medicine cabinets on both sides. Okay. So coming out of the primary bedroom. Super open living space but also still does have a traditional feel just with how the floor plan was laid out. Large glass window, beautiful tall glass door leading outside to the lanai. Okay, this is the uh, door leading into the master. So it's completely covered. It's not screen enclosed. We do have surround sound speakers out here. Beautiful area. It'd be so nice to add a little fire pit. Oh, <laughs> there's one right there. <laughs> they do have the recessed lights, a fan out here for the hot summer days. And again, I just love the big windows. So they did extend this area, added the Trex decking, super, super durable. Right over here, they do have the gas grill. I believe um, only one side of it is working, so they do use the other side when they grill out, but that is gonna be conveying as is. They're not gonna make any repairs to that. And then just a really, really beautiful yard. Feels very private out here. You could easily add a pool. They've done some great landscaping. There's even some citrus trees out here, which is really nice. And just so that you can get a view of the exterior here, I'm gonna ditch these footies <laughs> and walk around the side so that you can see. Beautiful shrubbery. We've created a nice tropical oasis back here. So access to the front yard. And then over here, even more space on the side yard. All of the stucco too looks really good. There's no cracks, anything like that. I don't see any areas that need stucco repair. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this community has really fantastic amenities. They've got the community pool, the clubhouse, tennis courts, basketball courts, soccer field, golf course, Dan, <laughs> gym, and then it's gated too. Okay, and this is 1024 Dorchester.